So now, where were we with this story? So step number one will obviously have to be to remove the rear windscreen along with the quarter glass. That's where the spot welds are located. So without the glass removed, you are not going to be taking off any quarter panels. So remove the glass. Following that, you want to grab a drill bit with a wire brush on it and remove all the old sealer and paint left over around those areas. This will allow you to see the spot welds that are located behind the glass. Following that, grab that same drill bit, remove the wire brush and put a drill bit specifically made for removing spot welds on. Now it's time to start drilling out those spot welds before finally cutting out and removing the panel. So this is another area where the quarter panel meets the car. Lipping or rolling the guards is common practice when you want to fit bigger wheels and tires without scraping. But in our case, there are spot welds located around that area, which means I had to use pliers to bend that lip back and remove the spot welds. When drilling out spot welds, you are only supposed to go through one layer of metal, not two. But because I am a bit of an amateur, I went through both pieces, which meant anywhere I went through both pieces of metal, I had to fill in with a bit of weld and grind it down.
The next job in line was to remove the damage from the impact around the fuel filler cap. Let's just say I might have gone a bit too far and Pep wasn't too happy about it. Finally we get to test fit the quarter panel for its first time. As you guys can see the quarter panel actually goes all the way up to the roof but we are going to give it a chop about halfway because the only thing you can risk doing is bending in the roof and there is no point of going that high. Now that the lip has been repaired, it is time to bend it back into the shape it was. If I had to do this process all over again, I think I would just go out and buy a brand new tub because I do think that it would save you a bit of time and hassle. Especially when you go to extend it. Step by step, we are getting closer and closer to seeing this car finally with a repaired rear quarter panel. Now, for the people that want to do this conversion, what you're going to have to do is, once that lip has been cut off, you have to place it inside the new quarter panel and use vice grips to clamp it down. Now, you're going to have a big gouging hole between the car and that lip, which you have to fill in with sheet metal. What I did is I just welded three pieces of metal, just some small little tabs to hold it in place. Then I removed the quarter panel and welded in bigger chunks of sheet metal so the car would not rust and water wouldn't leak inside the cabin. As you guys can see those small little tabs have done their job of holding the lip in place while the quarter panel is off the car. Now what you want to do is grab bigger pieces of metal, weld one in the middle and two on the sides. That will make sure that the lip is sturdy in place which means time to test fit that quarter panel again and see how it all fits up.
So as you guys just saw, pretty much the whole car and the panel itself has been prepared to be welded on the car. Right now, Pep is fixing the part that I pulled out too far. As I mentioned, he wasn't too happy about it. So we had to get the oxy out to heat it up and shrink the metal. Right now, I am applying seam sealer, which will get squished by the outer skin of the car, being the rear quarter panel. Once you apply this, you don't really have much time to work, so be quick, stick that panel on, and put a few tack welds in so everything is nice in place. You are also going to have to install your boot rubber just to make sure that all the panel gaps are perfect before finally welding it in. So there you have it guys, I hope this video has been more of an instructional video on how to replace a rear quarter panel, specifically how to install a R34 GTR metal rear quarter panel onto a GTT car. Now these parts you can still buy brand new from Nissan. Talking about Nissan, I would like to thank Total Nissan in Cannington for supplying the parts and also providing us with discounts. Now pretty much how it works is to buy anything from dealer or Nissan specifically, you have to come up with the cash up front. I didn't have all the money, but what I did is I spoke to Abdul and Abdul was really nice and helped out. As parts started coming in, I would pay for them. So the left quarter panel was in Australia, while the right quarter panel, we had to wait three months for it to get here from Japan. And that's kind of where the discounts came in place. They save money on shipping, but you get the parts later. But because I've got other commitments, I, that wasn't really an issue. So again, huge thank you goes out to them and that's how we are keeping it a true budget build or a poor man's GTR. I would also like to thank my neighbor Pep for helping out and taking me on, guiding me through the whole process. I would also like to thank my neighbor Chris for, that's where the car is at the moment, it's just in his garage while we sort out a workshop. Don't really expect any videos on the skyline within the next two months, as I'm going on a bit of a holiday to Serbia from the end of June to about mid-August. So, but once I'm back, there are no, no more excuses for why I can't work in the car, except a workshop, but hopefully that's sorted out by then. The rear quarter panels, along with the radiator support, I was not confident on replacing myself, so that's now sorted. Now it's all hands on deck to try and get the car painted as soon as possible because those things are labor intensive, which I can do myself, doesn't cost me anything, 
but motors, gearboxes, anything mechanical costs money. So we might as well smash out the painting and all that, which doesn't cost anything, and slowly start piecing together and doing some research on the engine and gearbox combination. What engine do you want to see in the car? Comment below. Do you want an RB? Do you want a JZ? We're not gonna LS swap it. SR? Don't know. So comment below what you want to see in the car. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video, and if you like this sort of content, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.